The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is once again directed by Francis Lawrence, who directed the past three films. And I say three because the last one was split into two. And here, 64 years before Katniss Everdeen volunteered as tribute, and decades before Coriolanus Snow became the tyrannical president of Panem, he mentors and develops feelings for the female District 12 tribute during the 10th Hunger Games. But I also want to give a big thank you to the sponsor for this video, Factor. Factor has made our hectic lives a lot easier. Our meals come together so much faster now. We're scheduled, we know exactly what we can eat at any given time, and it really makes the house run smoother. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. Their team of gourmet chefs create each meal using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. Are you too busy with holiday plans to cook, but you still want to make sure you eat well? With Factor, skip the extra trip to the grocery store and the chopping, prepping, and cleaning up too, while still getting the flavor and nutritional quality you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes, so all you have to do is heat and enjoy. And if you're looking for calorie conscious options over the holidays that also taste great, you can try delicious, dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving. So this November, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh, flavor-packed meals delivered right to your door. And they're ready in just two minutes with no prep and no mess. So head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code STUCKMAN50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. That's factor75.com. The code is STUCKMAN50 for 50% off your first Factor box. Thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring this video. When it comes to The Hunger Games, I mostly enjoyed the first movie, really liked Catching Fire. The last two fell off a bit for me. They were split into two, and it just was sort of like that time where every movie was like that. The Twilight movies were split into two, and everybody was trying to do that. Recently this year, Dead Reckoning Part 1, the Mission Impossible movie did it, and most movies don't do that anymore. And for a good reason, I think. And in an interview recently, Francis Lawrence said that he felt that wasn't the best idea and he would never do that again. But the movie itself is split up with title cards that appear as part one, part two, and part three. And it identifies these very different sections of the story, especially the third part, which we'll talk about in a second. Going in, I had absolutely no expectations for this movie. I mean, truly zero. I didn't love the last few Hunger Games films, and usually when a studio dips back into that pot and does a prequel or some kind of random thing, like way after the fact, and they're changing the cast and the story's being changed a little bit, it's usually not the best movie and you can kind of tell, but the filmmakers here have put in a real effort. This is a pretty good movie and a better Hunger Games film than I thought it would be. I don't read the books. I am not like a massive fan, so if you love these books, I can't do anything for you here. You might see this film and be like, wow, they just ruined everything I loved about the novel, or they didn't get this right, or this person's costume wasn't like it was in the book, or they changed their hair and I don't like that. I don't care about any of that shit. I just want to know if the movie's going to be entertaining. And the first two parts of this movie, as they're broken up, like I said, I thought were surprisingly entertaining, especially the Hunger Games themselves. I did find myself actually caring about the relationship between Snow and the District 12 tribute played exceptionally by Rachel Zegler. She uses song to communicate to people, and obviously Zegler is an excellent singer. She was fantastic in Spielberg's West Side Story. But they did share, like, legitimate chemistry, and I did feel, like, something for them, which is really hard to do uh, for me. I, I, I see through a lot of that kind of stuff in movies. And, and when I sort of, like, can feel that actors genuinely like working with each other or are feeling those emotions on the page, I think it worked very well here. So when she's involved in the games and Snow is watching on the sidelines, so to speak, I thought that was pretty riveting. Without getting too much into spoilers, part three of this movie sort of detaches from those thrills and becomes sort of a different movie all of a sudden. At some point, this guy's gotta go bad. And the way this movie got there just felt very rushed to me, and it did feel like the movie dropped off quality-wise during the part three section. There's also a surprisingly considerable use of extremely wide lenses for a lot of the movie. In fact, I would almost say the majority of the movie felt like it was shot on very wide lenses. And sometimes that can work very well in an action scene, but when you've got scenes of characters just sitting around talking and, like, their arm is like this wide on the edge of the frame, 
it's very distracting. But for me, it was the performances from Rachel Zegler and Tom Blythe that kept the movie interesting. Viola Davis and Peter Dinklage are both really fun in the movie as well. And I was legitimately surprised how much I was invested in the earlier parts of the movie. Much of that is due to those performances and caring about the central relationship. But once we get into part three, a lot of the goodwill that I had stored up for the beginning and middle of the movie started to fade away. Still, I think if you're a big Hunger Games fan, you're probably going to see this movie anyway. I can't say if you're a fan of the books, if it's going to mean something to you or if it's faithful. I have heard that it's faithful from like people who love the books, but I can't say that myself with any validity because like I said, I haven't read them. But I do think it's worth watching. It may be like a matinee price. So guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to more videos very soon. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.